Namaste. Welcome to Teresa Gigno Yoga Now for all recoveries. I wanted to give you a little bit of like encouragement and love, especially when you're feeling not so great. Maybe you're under the weather, maybe you feel a little kafoofled. Again, this practice is a few minutes and it is in the raw, not edited for all of you. Let us all be real. Okay, so first thing, laying down on the mat. Coming back to the breath, so important. I like to use my blanket for underneath my occipital, the head, so that my neck stays neutral. Fix your yoga pants if you need to. First of all, start off by lengthening your spine and reaching through the fingers and just giving yourself like some space to express yourself. You can even open up your legs really wide, spread, stretch out through the fingers. So this is for everyone. Oh. Today I felt like, oh my goodness, am I worthy? Uh, absolutely, we all are. Slowly start to draw your knees up towards the sky, reassess your lower back, and then take a moment to draw one knee, then the other knee into your chest. Lengthen the back of the neck, rock on your lower back, hold your knees individually, and stir your legs around. We all go through times of in life where we're up, we're down, we're all around. This practice, I hope, will guide you to be stronger for yourself. So as you hug your knees into your chest, draw your forehead as close to your knees as you can. You can open up your knees. You can do whatever you need to do to accommodate the flesh. I like to hold the back of my, my knees or, and sometimes the heels to curl in. So it's flexion, it's a, abdominals. So squeeze, squeeze, squeeze for five. Keep the breath fluid for four, three, two, and then release shoulders and head down. Adjust your sacrum. Take a moment to open up your arms nice and bright. And once again, lengthen those legs, shake them up towards the sky, bend your knees. But this time we're gonna encourage ourselves to use the abdominals and get right into the gut and wring out some of the stuff that we're not feeling so comfortable with. So palms down or up, you decide arms below the shoulders, anchored at the shoulder blades. Hug your knees as close as you can towards your chest. Flex your feet in like a point, so point, and then draw your toes towards you. So you're like you're pressing through gas pedals of the balls of your feet. Hug those knees together. And then when you're ready, tone the belly button in and exhale your knees towards a elbow crease. So really getting both shoulders down, keep them anchored, and then inhale up. Really important to stay with the breath and move with the breath. When you're ready to exhale, knees towards the other elbow crease. And not resting your legs, you're strong in your belly and keeping the opposing shoulder down. Inhale, center. Adjust your sacrum shoulders. Exhale, the other side. So continue to do this. My back just cracked. Keep both shoulders down and draw your knees towards the center. And just a little word of information or kind and love and inspiration. It's never too late to begin. I just realized I'm composting my whole YouTube channel and doing what it is that I really wish to move forward in. And this takes a lot of courage and strength and to release, to let go. So whatever you're beginning, stay with it. Create that encouragement, that strength to stay with what your dream is and exhale and release the toxicities that are staying and stuck inside your mind's eye, therefore you feel. Two more on each side. This is really powerful. Just a few minutes of just practicing courage and strength. Stay with it. Slow it down. No need to rush. Feel the exhalation. You can make it audible. <laughs> and let's bring the knees back to center. And then from here, I love to feel my strength when I do this. Arms are straight. Okay, shoulders are down. Hands are on your thighs. Feet are flexed. Shins are, are parallel to the floor. Press into your skull, knit the belly button in, press the spine towards the floor and resist for 10. So isometrics, nine, feel the power, eight, seven, feel it. Yeah, you've got it. Press that spine down, you're counting, right? Six, five, four, something like that. Beautiful. And then hug those knees into your chest, cross your ankles, grab a hold of your feet or your knees or your knee creases and vertically roll yourself up. Swing those legs around. Take a moment to sit up nice and tall. Take your thumbs into the palm of your hands. Reach your arms up really wide and powerful like you're saying yes. 
And on your exhalation, go. That's it. Big noises today. Inhale, nice and bright. And then exhale all that crap that you're holding inside of you. I know we do. And so inhale, bright. You can even sound like this. Ha! Did I wake up your neighbors? Ha! Two more of those at your own pace. It could be a quiet sound. And then very mindfully release your hands, wiggle your shoulders. And there you have it just to stir the little bit of that inside of you and to get you moving into the next round. Just one more before I leave you. Sitting up nice and tall. Just open up those arms nice and wide again and then release the right hand to the floor and open up through the left arm and say yes. What are you saying yes to? So twist and open up the heart. And then exhale, release the left hand down and do the same thing on the other side. Just a few minutes of like, hello, how are you? Feel that vibrancy. Oh yeah. And then a big breath in, reach both arms up. And then exhale them into your heart center. Join me at TeresaGagno.com for full length yoga practices. These are the times that we really need to choose to come home and to love the self. From my light to your light, TeresaGagno.com. I'll see you in those episodes. In the meantime, just stay here on YouTube and do a few minutes with me. Namaste.